Tomorrow in Roxbury, the Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts will hold its fourth annual Jobs Rebuild Boston Community and Career Fair. To tell us about the event, here's our guest from the Urban League, the Director of Workforce Development, William Watkins. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, William. Hey, how you doing, Chris? This, this is a different event from a, from a job fair, so we'll talk about some of the added things going on here. Yeah, we, we um, provide a little bit more than just a job fair for job seekers. Um, this is their opportunity not only to be in front of an HR uh, director or a specialist, but also some of those uh, people who are in the industry helping job seekers with their resumes, uh, with social media, you know, how technology has kind of taken over, how you and I probably once had to go door to door with a resume. Um, but we provide a little bit more to instruct the job seeker so they go away with something. Well, one of the things you're trying to do for people even before they pinpoint a job is uh, to talk about, um, you know, identifying their skills. Uh, you, you think that before we didn't have to think about that, but nowadays it's, it's a little Absolutely. more Absolutely. You know, when 2008 and the economy just fell through the tank, um, we have to now think about different industries that we had not, didn't have before or we didn't have to think about. Um, you know, so there's some industries that have gone. So now we have to look at our transferable skills. Those skills that we had in one industry, how can those skills transfer over? Um, and you, you'll see that a lot even with our veterans who will come back and they might have been in the Army for a, a long period of time and now they got to figure out what they did in the military. How, do that, how does that relate in quote unquote civilian life? What about social media? Um, uh, you know, we didn't have that uh, in, in any form more than 10 years ago. So right. uh, w what's going on with this now as far as finding jobs? Yeah, um, you have a lot of recruiters uh, now looking at LinkedIn, um, one of the, the most popular sites, um, and looking for talented people. And a lot of times you notice yourself that it's about your networks. So recruiters can also see your network, who you know. And they can ask questions of people within your network that they may be connected with. And of course, if you're a job seeker, you get on LinkedIn um, and you connect yourself to other people. And uh, there may be people you know well enough so you feel comfortable asking them things. A absolutely. Absolutely. You can see those, those networks and there may be someone that you're connected with. And you can, uh, you know, start the conversation uh, or ask for a recommendation. What we're hearing about more uh, these days is not just looking to be hired by somebody else, but starting your own company, developing your own brand. Uh, and you've got something along those lines as planned for this event. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing about uh, trying to find a job is about branding. And it's about branding yourself so that you can show yourself as being a qualified candidate. And that branding starts from your resume until you get into the interview. So we, we offer several different sort of uh, uh, workshops throughout the day. Uh, we'll even have um, brand, brand uh, premiere do's and don't workshop that's going to be done by uh, Anna Foster, uh, the CEO of uh, Maven's World. So we have some experts on, on site to provide some of these uh, these different workshops. We even have our job developer from the Urban League, uh, Richard Levine. He'll do a, a workshop on how to identify your skills that we talked about earlier. Uh, we'll do social media. Our president from the Young Professionals Network, uh, Rachel Villison, will, uh, Rochelle Villison, will do a, a workshop on how to effectively uh, use the uh, social media uh, to your advantage. You're going to have a lot of uh, potential employers uh, tomorrow too, right? Uh, f over 40 plus employers I, I can think of. Um, Pepsi will be there, um, uh, Capital One, uh, the Sheriff's Office, Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, uh, Bay Cove. A lot of the names that you know will be there. What's it like for people to, to go to an event like this? I mean, I know you've enumerated the workshops and the employers, but uh, I mean, you, you, let's talk about someone who's been looking for a while and they haven't found anything. They might even be getting a bit discouraged. What's it like for them to spend some time at an event like well, this? Well, I can tell them what it would be like if they stayed at home. 
uh, and that means they will be in the same position that they're in, in that position and, and sitting in that seat. Uh, but if they go and they use the, their skills and talents and talk to a live person, um, a lot of times through this process of trying to find a job, you don't get to talk to a live person. You have to upload your resume into a computer and it goes into the resume abyss. But you will be able to talk to a live person and collect on cards uh, to make that, that connection. I always say, say to our job candidates that, you know, your network is your net worth. So however, however you can grow your network, uh, that's how valuable you will be. Now, some people will go to this event tomorrow. Um, they, they won't strike out right away, but uh, you know, they might think that, well, they, they need to brush up on some things a bit more. And I guess if, if they want to follow up, there are ways the Urban League can help them? Yes, uh, we provide job training programs. We provide assistance with resumes, cover letters, um, and they can come into our office at 88 Warren Street, Monday through Friday from 10 to 4.30 uh, and utilize uh, the computers, the internet, the fax machine. Um, they basically have a home office there. Well, the event tomorrow is going to be at the Reggie Lewis Center and starting at what time? Mm -hmm. It will start at 1 and go till 6. So those people who don't have a job or even those people who are looking to change careers, there's, there's time for them to come and uh, venture into the event. All right. Thank you very much for being with us. I appreciate you, Chris. From the Urban League, William Watkins. And we'll have more news in just a moment.